Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And you are looking at the new currency for the BRICS nations. Uh, this was something that was given to President Putin. Uh, just one of, the, I guess it's a test image of their currency. Maybe it's the actual real deal already. I want to thank Charles for sending this over to me uh, from Twitter there. Uh, very interesting. And I'm going to go back over here real quick. We'll pick up the thread here on that as well. Pardon me, as you got all kinds of junk always wants to pop up here on Twitter. Uh, let's get it back over here we go do, 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 do. here we go let's see here let me see if I can switch it over to the other side there we go right there he has got the first BRICS currency in his hands there you can see President Putin with that first BRICS currency gifted to him it's a mock as it says here a mock-up of the BRICS bill at the summit so it's not the real deal yet but it's letting you know it's on its way it's definitely on its way. I do believe it's going to be part of the New World Order. I'll be getting back to working on my book. We've been very busy here this past week. We were at the Conference for Life Wave in Dallas, Texas. It is exploding like you would not believe because people are being helped in just the masses there. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But before we do... I want to share with you some more interesting news that is breaking across uh, the world here. This here, MB, I believe it's NBC uh, representative there, uh, uh, could be CNN, I forget which one it was now, but he's asking President Putin about the 3,000 Korean troops that were spotted by satellite footages there in Russia, uh, as well as whether or not he's actually been talking to uh, uh, former President uh, Donald Trump already on those uh, uh, with him possibly becoming in that, the next president of the United States. Listen in here to what is asked, and especially the way Putin answers the question. Keir Simmons from NBC News. Uh, Mr. President, satellite images are said to show North Korean troops here in Russia. What are they doing here? And wouldn't that be a massive escalation in the Ukraine war? And Mr. President, we are weeks away from the US election. Russia again is accused of interfering and that you have had private conversations with former President Trump. Have you been speaking with him? And what have you been saying? <laughs> well, let me take up first the first part of your question. Satellite images, well, that is something serious. If there are images, then they are a reflection of something. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that it's not the Russia's actions that have led to an escalation in Ukraine. Rather, it is the coup d'etat in 2014, which was supported first and foremost by the US. The US has even publicly announced how much money it has spent back then to organize and orchestrate this coup d'etat. Wasn't that the path to escalation? And then for eight years, we were being duped when we were being told that everyone wants to achieve a peaceful settlement to the conflict in Ukraine via Minsk agreements. You have probably heard afterwards a number of European leaders have said publicly that they had been duping us because they had been using that time to rearm the Ukrainian troops. Isn't that a fact? It is. Another path towards escalation consisted in the fact that the European countries started to actively provide weaponry to Ukraine, to the Ukrainian regime, and it went as far as uh, direct participation of NATO troops in this conflict, because we are aware of how and what is being done when UA, UAV unmanned uh, vessels in the Black Sea are being operated and sent. We know who is present there, what NATO countries are involved and how they are doing that. And the same goes for instructors. And these, these are not mercenaries, these are military instructors. And the same goes for the use of precision guided uh, missiles such as uh, Storm Shadow, Attackums, and other things like that. Euro Ukrainian troops are incapable of doing that without Western intelligence, without uh, uh, sharing the goals and uh, 
it is only possible through the direct involvement of NATO officers. Now, as for our cop interaction relationship with the North, uh, with North Korea, uh, you know, we ratified our um, treaty on strategic partnership, which contains Article 4, and we have never doubted the fact that North Korean leadership is very serious about their commitments to us and engagement with that. But as uh, for how we do and what we do, uh, it's up to us to decide under Article 4 of this treaty first. We need to hold the relevant talks uh, about implementing Article 4 of the Treaty on Strategic Partnership with North Korea. We're in contact with our friends from North Korea. We'll see how this process develops. That said, the Russian armed troops are moving forward very steadily. No one can contradict that. It's moving forth at all the parts of the line of contact. There you have it right there. He did not answer the issue about President Trump, but he did give uh, a very comprehensive answer. I always like the fact, uh, regardless of what you think of Putin, it's always interesting to see how that Unlike U.S. politicians, they have to go through an array of, uh, you know, details before they can answer any public questions there. Putin never has a problem with addressing any of the journalists' questions uh, without uh, some dissertation beforehand. Moving on to Israel, and of course Israel's constant bombardment and attacks on Lebanon constant genocide of Gaza cannot go unspoken about. Uh, now Tyre, the great city of Tyre has come into view. The attacks, the bombing Israel is now doing on Tyre, a city that had history with King David, with King Solomon. Even Jesus himself, the woman of Canaan, that come from Tyre, and Jesus said he had never seen such faith. No, not in Israel, that's for sure. And yet now Israel is bombing this historic 5,000-year-old city. What a shame. I want to move to the idea real quick here. Israel claims Hezbollah is using bunker, a bunker under Beirut Hospital. So went to, they went to have a look and, and, and talk to a doctor there. Let's see what is said here. Two different clips I want to share with you there. And I want to thank, uh, I think Charles sent this to me, but also I'd got some clips there from, uh, uh, from uh, ooh, I think it was Nathan as well. Anyway, let's listen in. Way of storing gold and cash. Now we've been invited in here. This tour has been in no way exhaustive. You can see there are lots of other press here as well. But we haven't been controlled in terms of what we can film or where we can point our a camera, we've been allowed to open doors, move around. Now, there may be other areas of the hospital that we've not been taken to, um, but for all, you know, this looks like a hospital. This is one of the operating theatres here. We can talk to one of the doctors. This is Dr. Omar, who is uh, an emergency doctor. Yes, here at Sehel Hospital. So Israel says that this place has been used by Hezbollah yeah. for gold and cash. Yeah. Yeah. What's your answer to that? What would uh, you say? Our, our answer to this is that these uh, allegations are wholly unbased, and this is a hospital where people come to. Besides, besides that particular video right there, we had one more I want to share with you. This here is a journalist from Lebanon uh, that also. <clears throat> Uh, was given access inside the hospital there. And basically what it is, is the Israelis are claiming that they're hiding all kinds of weapon and gold and all this kind of stuff in, inside the hospital, only to try to use that as an excuse to be able to bomb the hospital. So the hospitals allow journalists to come in. Um, surprised Israel didn't just go ahead and bomb the hospital while the journalists were in because they seem to be very good at killing journalists as well for reporting anything that is even remotely true about what's going on in the Middle East there. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. I uh, want to share one last thing with you, and that is LifeWave. 
look, the testimonies are just coming off the charts. Uh, if you have not uh, already seen the video that my wife did, the interview she did with uh, Jolene here on our YouTube channel, Israeli News Live, you got to see it, how God designed us. Jolene is a... She is a has is just finishing her doctorate in biology. She studied photobiomodulation therapy uh, in the university, and so she was very familiar with this sort of uh, technology that David Schmidt developed. And she said when she studied his patents, she noticed that his patents were more superior to any of the photobiomodulation that she had used in the university level there. Uh, we met so many people there while in Dallas there uh, with remarkable just testimony after testimony still coming out. Uh, you know, it, look, if you've never tried it, you need to try it. Uh, and you have two options you can do. You can either shop, you can purchase X39, you want to do the X39 for sure. Uh, or, or, or maybe even a, a X, you know, the bundle, the performance bundle, but definitely try X39. You can save $50 just by when you go on there, do a preferred customer, which puts you on a subscription basis. You, you just, you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, uh, I don't have hypertension any longer. I don't have high blood pressure any longer. Uh, you know, I don't have uh, numbness all in through my left leg any longer. I can go up and down the stairs with no problem now. I mean, you got to be dedicated, though. You can't just expect this to, to, to be the miracle cure for you. Now, some people do have one-patch wonders. Uh, in fact, Jolene talks about being a one-patch wonder, and she's had a severe, uh, rare form of arthritis at the age of 35 years old, but yet put on a patch, and she said her pain went from a 7 to a 2. My aunt, just the other day, was saying to me, she said, I no longer have the arthritis pain in my hands any longer. I can grab that bottle, the, you know, amazing. You know, Ron... So many people, and we're hearing even more and more about thyroids, right? People's thyroids cutting way back on their medicine or the doctor having them quit altogether. It's just one thing after another after another. So, and besides, whether you want to shop and purchase that and just go to our website, lifewave.com forward slash Benun, B-E-N-N-U-N. I'll put it in the description for you. Or join. If you're wanting to be able to start a small business and to try to earn money, things like that. This is the most incredible way you could ever do it. And you've got four levels. The, the $25 letter, the starter level, just gets you in the door. But if you go up any other level above that, core, advanced, or premium, you're going to get the product as well as being able to be in the position to earn income. It's one-time fee. You don't pay that monthly but you do want to put one product on subscription monthly. And then as you share this with your friends, with your family, those people that really do need it, people you can change their lives with doing that, next thing you know, your patches are being paid for. After that, your car payment. And who knows from where, where all it might go. You know, we're seeing people do amazing strides with this as they have gotten in there, gotten dedicated, gotten serious, We've had several more people become managers here just in the last week, you know, so people are really starting to move along and they're enjoying doing this as a business and making extra money as well. So I, I encourage you if that's what you're wanting to do. If not, definitely try the patches out. You can also email us at benoonx 39 um, that's at gmail.com. If you were trying to reach us by uh, my wife's cell phone, uh, we did not have the charger. I apologize for that. And uh, we need to get another charger. Her phone died on us while we were here in Dallas there. Been so busy, just hadn't been able to get a charger there. But we will certainly get that and get it back to you. Also, IsraeliNewsLive.org, you can visit our website. Uh, everything about LifeWave is there. You can do the link there if you just want to click on that link. Uh, that'll take you right to our website, uh, EMP Shield as well. And of course, if you want to support the broadcast, we greatly appreciate it. Just click right there. You can donate online and we thank you and God bless you for your help. 
and we'll be getting back tomorrow and getting back busy this weekend sharing more things me and my wife do in the uh, Stephen Yana chat a lot of things to share with you god bless you and have a great evening